Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading session. And we're in uh, reading set number four for comic book reads. And since we've taken a long time, I've tried to introduce, um, have some reads of some comic books that we didn't have on our list. And this is one of them. This is the Lobo Paramilitary Christmas Special. And I've been meaning to read this uh, for you guys for a couple of years now, two or three years now because this is the comic book that I associate with this time of year. It's sort of a Christmas special that they put out back in 1991. And it's the one that has stood out for me. I've read a few comic book Christmas specials over the years. And this is the one that just every year, I either try to track this down from my collection in my boxes, or I, um, sit down and watch a sort of fan movie that was made in 2002 i believe and it was uploaded to youtube in 2005 so i came across it during that time during the early days of youtube i think even before google had bought it out i think google bought out youtube in 2006 maybe and uh, i started uh, watching that fan based film which is based on this comic book the lobo paramilitary christmas special back in you know 2005 2006 and it blew me away it was one of the first fan-based comic book movies that was ever put out and it is absolutely fantastic and it follows the story of this comic book basically pan not panel by panel but it follows it very closely right it's it it will not disappoint if you read this comic book and you haven't seen that fan based movie take a look at it it's available on youtube it's about 15 minutes 13 minutes long or so i believe anyway and it's fantastic and this comic book when it first came out in 1991 it really blew away anything else that was being put out and it blew away anything else that was put out for this time of year for the Christmas specials that uh, most comic books, um, most publishers put out, uh, because it was, uh, it was a sort of a different theme. Um, it was basically extremely violent. It was, uh, you know, I'm going to give it a little bit of spoiler right now if you haven't uh, read this, but basically the story is Lobo, which is uh, a galactic, uh, basically the main man is he's considered to be the main man in comic books if everyone says who's the main man in comic books it's lobo and he's basically assassin right he's the galaxy's assassin and he's the number one assassin in the world and if you want to know who this character is this lobo character is we've done the reading for the first appearance of lobo and i've mentioned lobo countless times through my comic book videos he is basically one of my main uh top mainstream um, comic book characters that I love. And it's he's basically the top character from DC Comics that I like, and the top character from the top two, um, top two publishers, Marvel and DC, that I really like. And the reason that I fell in love with Lobo, um, it was through Omega Men, it was through some of his appearances he made in DC Comics, but what really sealed the deal for me for getting into Lobo and just him being my favorite character in comic books for a number of years, a number of years, and basically my favorite character from DC and Marvel, right, from the big two, was um, the Lobo miniseries that came out in 1990, Lobo the Last Zarnian. And the creative team for that miniseries, which I've mentioned numerous times, we haven't read that series yet, we might at some point, but that comic book series came out in 1990. And the creative team um, for that miniseries was Keith Giffen and Alan Grant were the writers. And the penciler for it were Simon, Simon Bisley and Keith Giffen. And the inker was Simon Bisley. And the colorist was, Laverne Kanzinski apologizes. Um, I apologize about pronouncing the name incorrectly. Uh, I'm not very good at uh, pronouncing these complicated names. But the creative team that put out uh, Lobo, The Last Zarnian, the four issue miniseries, that's the same creative team that worked on this 
special as well and this comic book as well and they're actually the same creative team that worked on uh, Lobo's Back the second miniseries that came out after this Lobo paramilitary Christmas special I think I got that chronology correct it might be um, there might have been a couple of one shots here and there before Lobo's Back came out okay so it's the same creative team that put out the last Zarnian Lobo paramilitary Christmas special and Lobo's Back which is the creative team of Keith Giffen, Alan Grant, Simon Bisley, and colorist being Laverne Krasinski. Okay, and uh, just to give you a little bit of a, a little bit of a history on uh, the second mini series that they put out with Lobo's Back, there was a little bit of controversy about that mini series because um, Simon Bisley was doing the artwork, he was doing the covers and everything for it, right, and the for the first three issues Lobo's back number one number two and number three Simon Bisley did the pencils for him and the inks for him and with Keith Giffen doing some of the pencils right and then it came out that Bisley had sort of uh, put in a little bit of art that was not supposed to be in the cover of Lobo's back number one and you can see that art in the I believe it's the left uh, left arm of Lobo and it's a male's organ <laughs> private organ part that he sort of sketched in there sort of a hidden some people say it was it wasn't meant to be in there some people say that he put it in he put it out uh, intentionally he put that art in there intentionally uh, we're not 100% sure I didn't look at the time we didn't have the internet so I couldn't dig down any further into this but um, it was uh, sort of controversial at the time and when Lobo's back was being put out there was a fair bit of uh, delay between issue number two and issue number three issue number two for Lobo's back came out in May issue number one for Lobo's back came out in May 1992 number two came out in June 1992 and number three was supposed to be coming out in July but it came out in October 1992 and then number four came out in November 1992 now I believe Simon Bisley had done the artwork for issue number three so Simon Bisley's artwork is still in issue number three but for issue number four another penciler was brought in to do issue number four and that was Christian Alami okay and Keith Giffen, Giffen still worked on the pencils on that as well okay so that's a little bit of a history on Lobo and the creative team of Keith Giffen, Alan Grant and Simon Bisley the people who have who put out this comic book and put out the first few comics with um, Lobo the last Zarni and Lobo's back and this issue special issue and Alan Grant and Keith Giffen continued to work on Lobo in the 1990s and Alan Grant he was one of the he was the main writer basically for almost everything Lobo that came out in the 1990s there was a few other people I believe that put out some issues but Alan Grant was basically wrote 90 95 percent of the Lobo issues that came out in the early mid and late 90s as well I believe and Keith Giffen was heavily involved in Lobo as well and unfortunately Simon Bisley I believe uh, because of what he did for the cover of Lobo's back he was sort of pulled out of Lobo and he sort of blacklisted and I don't know if he did any more Lobo stories Lobo comics in the 1990s I don't think I have any more in my collection okay and um, again if you want to know who Lobo is and his origin and stuff like this you can take a look at the video we put out with um, the first few appearances of Lobo in Omega Man where we flipped through the books and read basically the Lobo parts right but what we're going to do right now I'm not going to give you any spoilers regarding what this story is about you can take a look at the fan base um, fan base film that was put out in 1990 in uh, 2002 which is available on YouTube it's been available on YouTube since 2005 and it's fantastic and it follows this story very accurately right then you can read a little description on it and on um, online if you want to know what the story is going to be about but 
fair warning goes out, right? And there is a warning here. Let me see if I can get the glare off this thing. Actually, let's crack this open and then we won't get the glare from the plastic. Okay, now let's take these guys off. And this was, uh, when this first came out, I brought a, I bought a few issues of this because I gave some of the issues to some people and I kept a few issues of these because I really wanted extra copies of these. Um, and every now and then I've given them as gifts to people uh, and I still have a few issues left, right? So I don't, I'm pretty sure this is an unread copy, uh, but let me give you the warning here. This might be one of my red copies because it was easy for me to find and it's got a couple of dings here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Let me see if I can see that little uh, creases there and there's a little crease here as well a little crease here if you run your finger on the edges of the comics you can feel the creases right but other than those things this is you know there's a little bit of let me see if i can get the glare on there so you can see it yeah right there see that little ding there it's very minor very minor but basically this comic would be graded at like 9.2 or something, right? But let me read you this warning that they're giving. And I don't think this is, they said mature readers on this. Oh, it does say mature readers. Take a look at this. <laughs> Let's see if we can read this. Seriously suggested for mature readers, right? And again, Lobo Special, uh, 1991. Okay, and it came out, the month that it came out, well, it says it's winter 1991, so I'm assuming it came out in December. Okay. And the other warning that they have down here is, warning, contains bad taste in the form of ultraviolence, icon bashing, and the finger, more offensive than Christmas usually is, right? And a lot of Christmas specials that have come out, uh, from comic book publishers they're very uh christmasy they're very cheery and you know superheroes help out santa claus to deliver his presents and whatever it is and this one is a little different okay so the lobo paramilitary christmas special and again the creators of this comic keith giffen alan grant simon bisley and Laverne Kurzinski is the colorist for this. And the letter was Todd, Todd Klein. Okay. And the covers, definitely Simon Bisley, right? So let's take a look at this thing. One thing has influenced every prison, present dishes in the history of the United States, the Constitution, the words we live by. Hmm. Take a look at this. One thing has influenced every presidential decision in the history of the United States. We the people, right? The Constitution, for over 200 years, through war, the Depression, let me bring this up a little closer, the Depression, even civil unrest, the Constitution has influenced every presidential decision. It's what the framers of our Constitution wanted. They knew what it was like to live in a country governed by a king. So when our founding fathers create the Constitution, they wrote Article 2 specifically to define the powers of the presidency. To take a close, closer look at one of history's most important job descriptions, send for a free information kit which contains a copy of the Constitution. Write Constitution Washington, D.C. 20006-399. The Constitution, the words we live by, right? That's cool. Ad cancel. Those are the people that are sharing this. Right. And this is classic Simon Bisley splash pages, right? Beautiful artwork. Let's get a close up of this. And before we begin the reading, we're going to read the little small print here. They have written this thing really small, so I'm going to try to show this to you guys. Lobo Paramilitary Christmas Special Number no. One, published by DC Comics Incorporated, 1325 Avenue of America, New York, New York, 
1019 for mature readers of 19 years of age or older okay copyright 1991 dc comics all rights reserves all characters featured in this issue the distinctive likeness thereof and all related indentia are trademarks of dc comics incorporated the stories characters and incidents mentioned in this magazine are entirely fictional it's hard to read very small santa claus is common coming to town by j fred coots and haven gillespie that's the song that they sing in this comic the words form the lyrics copyright 1934 renewed renewed 1962 emi feist catalog inc rights for extended renewal term in the u.s controlled by haven gillespie music and emi feist catalog inc all rights reserved used by permission printed on recyclable paper right and i love this paper from the 1990s i love newsprint i think all comic books personally should be on newsprint i'm not a huge fan of the glossiness of the things right uh, dc comics inc a warner brothers company printed in canada and it was um, the company in montreal that did most of the printing Quebecor printing that did a huge percentage of printing back in the 1990s 1980s and 1990s okay so let's have a read through the Lobo paramilitary Christmas special and hopefully um, after we finish this this will be your favorite Christmas comic book read because it definitely is my favorite Christmas comic book read okay let's take a look at this lots of snow lots of snow silent night holy night all is calm christmas season of snow santa and goodwill for all when even alien worlds dust off their bing cosby album stock up on mincemeat pies exchange seasonal gifts and get down to some serious revelry rev revelry beautiful bisley artwork beautiful bisley artwork very trippy very trippy At this joyous time, spare a thought for those who through no fault of their own or mere stupidity have little cause and less ability to celebrate at all. Well, shut up, I'm thinking. Don't strain yourself. I can't believe you getting yourself fired a week before Christmas sheesh such timing don't start arse face arse face is calling his wife rigging toilet breaks what a moron she says a guy's got the dump babe Sure. and just what do you think their reaction is going to be the day after tomorrow I I shudder to think blame yourself you were the one wanted wanted the big family don't be ridiculous 
I only wanted to get laid regularly. Just what I expected from you, fair thung. I'm telling you, you better come up with something and fast. Ping. One of her curlers just flies off. Right, right there. Blink. She's stressed. Oh God. I keep seeing seeing the garrisons. Gersons after the brute got done with them. Jeez. You could have got Joe in a matchbox. Exactly. And take it from me. I don't plan on squeezing in beside him. Okay, okay. I get the picture. They're freaking out. Fragging stupid tie year anyway. Jolly my butt. Whoever invented Christmas ought to be roasted in hell sniff sorry kids but you know what they say do unto others before they blast your butt grabbing a gun click clack cast just following Sit in on automatic. Set it on automatic. We don't want any vengeance crazed survivors on our hands. Remember what the baby did to Chuck on Marge last year. Don't worry. I'll take all ten of ten out with a huh? What's that? Oh my God, you, you don't think they overheard. They, they could be trying to outflank us. Answer it, I'll cover you. Hit the floor if you have to, babe. I ain't taking no prisoners. Whimper, she goes to the door. Someone's been knocking. Yes, can I shoot? That is, can I help you? Ping, there goes another curler. She opens the door, there's a book waiting for them. Well, she says, well, what? You bring it in, you open it. I don't know, ferret. Hell, it's only a book, right? Right? What if it's some kind of booby trap? You know, wired to explode. Or maybe the ink's really cyanide. Or the pages. They could be plastic. Face it, arse face. Arf, ar, arf, arfice. Arfice. Christmas is two days away. Unemployed. We're flat broke with zero prospects. Yeah, you're right. What could possibly be worse than what the kids will do? So they were trying to kill their kids, get rid of them, so they wouldn't freak out because they weren't getting any presents. Uh, yeah, little pages. Let's read this. Let's read these things. 
this comic has got got a few of these so, so did uh, Lobo the last Zarnian had a whole bunch of these pages where it had a lot of goodies right so let's read this no job no money no prospects no Christmas each year thousands of parents die in incidents of domestic violence perpetrated by their very own and very irate children yes that's right ordinary kids who realizing they will enjoy no Christmas turn on their folks with a homicidal mania of unprecedented proportions what can you do to prevent your death fortunately the answer is simple merely read this book to your children the Lobo Xmas 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 sanction right so that's the first page of the book or this the season to be jolly right wow you say what difference can one poxy little book make to which we say read it to them and see back by our cast iron guarantee if your kids still want a Christmas after the reading we will pick up all burial expenses up to but not exceeding 3,500 credits what other publisher dares put this money put his money where his mouth is try it you've nothing to lose but your terror a public service brought to you by Keith Giffen plot breakdowns Simon Bisley art Alan Grant dialogue Laverne Kaczynski colors Gasper Gasper letters Dan bad Dan rasp raspler editor Gaspar letter cool so those are the credits right and the first page of the book let's see what they do let's see what they do 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 you think it'll work I don't know she says no job no prospects that's me all right read that bottom bit again a public service brought to you by Keith Giff not that bit but brain the cast iron guarantee so you figure it's worth a try what have we got to lose should I make should I wake the kids sure and if I if it don't work we lose the element of surprise and make them out make them out hand to hand take them out hand to hand all ten of them right okay okay we'll check it first read on Once upon a time, there was this really cool dude. There was also a dog of sorts that had taken to following him around. Grunt, snort, grrr. Sega Genesis. I have some of these. I have a few of these consoles. A Street Fighter. Choose from a smashing assortment of socks and belts. Bam, bro, bam. Take a look. Streets of 
Rage. Not Street Fighter, Streets of Rage. This console was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, we're following Lobo, right? We're reading the book that they got. Yo, barkeep. I'm supposed to meet somebody. Oop. Barkeep said, smashing their faces. Slam on the bar. Slam. In a back, in a booth. In a Garavinda. He was two sheets to the wind when he fell in. Will I send around your usual? Sure, pal. Lobo says. One side, you dweebs. Glip, gloop. Everybody makes way for Lobo. All right, I'm here, Lobo says. Ex excellent, fine, that's great. Phew, up a pull, sorry, pull up a few. Drinks are on me, the rabbit says. He's wasted. He's pouring his drink on the table instead of the glass. Lobo is not going to be impressed. Say your piece or your supper, Bunny. Bugsy. I've got a job for you. So what else is new? Shh. Very hush hush. Ain't they all, Lobo says. Say, don't I know you from someplace? <laughs> you wasn't in Legion, was you? Oh, Legion is fantastic. That's where Lobo made a lot of curses. Nah, I remember those teeth. You ain't that shoe salesman. He's choking the bunny. Look at this. The dog's going crazy. Arf. Oh, the bunny's worried. No, no, no. I'm the Easter bunny. You almost caught me in a snare once, remember? Hot dog, that's right. When I was just a little brat. Well, if that don't beat all. So why is a respectable rabbit sitting up, setting up a meat? with the main man. I represent a group of concerned partish, partish. We want to hire you to illuminate what we see as a <laughs> throwing, throwing get growing threat to our respective holidays. Gluck, gluck, Lobo is drinking the booze. Do tell, he says. It's Santa Claus, see? He's gotten way too big for his bridges. Hell, Christmas is out of control. 
Santa's killing us. How can we compete? What's colored egg with colored with was colored eggs or an early shipping compared with tinsel turkey snow? Sitting around the table. And you want the fat boy scragged. You know, I never did like Christmas, Lolo says. I never got nothing I asked for. We're willing to pay good money, the bunny says. Lab, last lab, Joker, Nintendo, Sega, and Nintendo. And he said, we'll pay you good money. Right. So what's next? Don't push your luck, Bugs. I only work for top dollar. Lolo says. Of, of course. Just trying to show our sincerity. Right. You knew how to find me. You know how to pay me. Then we have a deal? Yeah. Consider him meat. Ha. Huh. This should should be friggin fabulous soul Lolo says everything to your liking Lobo shut up he says bar Lobo's bike nice ain't life just a bowl of buns sometimes Lobo. Lobo is a huge fan of uh, space dolphins. That's why you see the dolphins here. He cares for them. He loves them. Anybody that hurts the space dolphins <laughs> gets whacked. Right. Click. Clutch. Shoop. His knife puts it in. Loading up. Snark. Cool. Puts on his belt. Frack. Ho ho ho, Lobo says. Let's look at the splash page first. What are we looking at? We're looking at the North Pole, see? North Pole, Santa's factory, right? There's a couple of elves there, little guys. Cool. Let's read the text. Far to the north, in the land of everlasting ice, lay the stronghold of Santa Claus. A brutal dictator repeatedly slammed by Amnesty International. He ran his empire with an iron fist, planned multi ma malnutri planned malnutrition, kept his army small in stature, but fighting fit and fierce as ferrets. Only highly sophisticated public relations techniques and a once a year charity <laughs> splurge kept his image smooth with the public. Jolly Santa Claus, the world called him, but his slaves knew him better as Chris Crusher Kringle. Chris Crusher Kringle. That's Santa Claus. Take a look. Take a look. Keep out. Guards. Only.
only two guards talk about over fracking confidence probably figured no one dare take him out says. there he is on the hilltop looking down on the stronghold Well, he reckoned without the main man. Let the revels begin. Yuck. Punt, punt. Toe, toe. Takes him out. The two little guards. Sweet dreams, suckers. He <laughs> he. Yup, yup. The dog's running beside him. Look at the penguin. <laughs> Jesus. What's going on? Electrified, huh? Shoot. That won't keep out a rogue cream puff. Electric fencing. bomb on there let alone state-of-the-art Sears and Roebuck 15 mic microton boomer 30 second timer dear stuff babe oh, oh he's, there's a little penguin there he's gonna get taken out look at that He's going in. Aroga, aroga. <laughs> Uga, auga, auga. Nice splash face. We'll take a close look at it after we read the text. Okay. Take a look at that. Take a look at Batman. Is that the tea break Hooters? Hooter? Take a look at this, take a look at this. Is that the tea break Hooter? New guy, huh? We only break once uh, once a year on Midsummer's Eve. Oh, that's the alarm. The new kid, the new elf think that's the break. <laughs> this guy's like, new guy, huh? We only break once a year on Midsummer's Eve. That's funny. What we need is a union. We could make rules about <laughs> this kind of thing. <laughs> this guy says. Sure. We could also have Crusher cut our lips off. Ooh, nasty Santa Claus. Let's take a look at this splash page. All the machinery. The arms. They got Batman in the background. Who's this guy? Looks familiar. Stuffed animals, teddy bear. Robots. Stuffed dogs. They got little bunnies here. Look at this. Oh, you got Teenage Mutant. I think that's supposed to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle right there. Possibly. That's cool. Never noticed that before. Cool. Factory floor. Security room. We've been breached. Intruder, intruder. All units alert. What is it? Stray reindeer? One of the elves says. With a bomb? The main gate's been blown. Guy's pissed. Damn it. I told that fat fool we needed a security beef up. G 
Give me a visual, Cecil. Roger, sir. Give me a visual, Roger. <laughs> Holy gift warp doo-doo. The elves say they just got a visual of Lobo. They be pooping their pants. Order a total mobilization. The naughtiest one has come. <laughs> naughtiest one. Ooga, ooga. Alarm still going off. Right. Frag and racket. Some scummy policy. Deafening your assailant. That's better. Funny. I expected to run into some kind of resistance by now. Lobo says. Look at all the elves. Click, click, clack, clack. Clutch, click. Freeze. Fettles, geez. It's a midget fairy convention. <laughs> Look at them all. All the guns pointing at Lobo. You're surrounded, naughtiest one, and every elf a crack shot. Throw down your weapons and put your hands above your head. Surrender now. Up yours, cream puff. The main man don't know the meaning of the word. Lobo says. Tell you what though. Come on down here and I'll show you something else. Candy canes and good fur. I'll show you something else candy canes are good for. Sacrilege, the elf says. Study Byron. He wants to rattle us. <laughs> Have it your own way, men. Mini men? Ha 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 ha. You may fire at well about fragging time, Lobo says. <laughs> pop, 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 All the guns are toy guns. They just so cute, Lobo says. Oh. And he goes at it like the splash page. All right, let's show both pages. <laughs> Look at the carnage. I could just slaughter the little fraggers, he says. Ba, 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 ba. Eat hot lead, you unnatural dwarf geek suckers. I feel so fragging ordinary. I could just sing. Lobo says. 
Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work I go. That's a little bit of singing. Bam, look at this, like you have a full page of this thing. Look at that beautiful artwork, just beautiful. Boom, look at the eyeballs just popping everywhere, the nose going off, the jaw, the tongue. Brains being splattered everywhere. Spam. Scorch. Poor elves. Little worker elves. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh. I rip off heads, I shoot them dead. I blow their guts out through their butts. Hi, freaking ho. Lobo sings. Look at that. Arms being torn off, blown apart. Guts everywhere, entrails everywhere. No, poor Al. Snacka snacka. Lobo's just firing his gun. Was that wrong? Doors, huh? Okay, get a load of this. <laughs> Look at the dog tearing off an arm. Look at his eyes. He's like, oh my god. Lobo's still singing. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Frag, 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 and frag again. Frag, 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 and frag again. Santa Bo is coming to town. Over to you, Matt. Sending the dog in. Jeez. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this dog's going crazy. Oh no, please. He sees you when you're sleeping. Help, somebody, save me. Oh, the dog's singing, actually. He knows when you're awake. Ah, tears off his arm. Oh no, he grabs his head in his mouth. He knows if you've been bad or good. Oh, the poor elf. Look at that. Crunch. Rip. Gulp. Oh, he just swallowed his head. <laughs> Look at the grin on the dog's face. He's happy. So be bad for badness sake. The dog says, Boof, oh, and he farts. <laughs> Lifts up his tail and poof. Dooch. Look at all this blood and gore everywhere. Cha cha cha. Lobo says, away from that first round encounter. Look at all the owls. Just annihilated. Look at that. Nice.
Move with Lobo says. Lots of splash pages in this comic. Let's take a look. Let's see now. The fat boy must be holed up someplace. Authorized only. Authorized personnel only, man. The door sign says. Gets that's me. Crash. Fettle, jeez. What are you? Eyeball this place. There's like a throne chair right there. Homes and gomes are what? Homes and gnomes are what? bullets on the ground wow it's worse than a Dalbian cat house Crusher must have been screaming creaming it off his fan club or something jolly little scam Jeez, you got to admit, his fragrant taste alone is reason enough to scrag him. Yo, fats, ain't you heard? You can run, but you can't hide. Going up the stairs. Who's hiding, hot shot? So you're the main man, huh? Santa Snickin' Claus, a.k.a. Father Xmas, Chris Kringle, Big Bloody Nick, The Crusher. Done your homework, boy. Santa smoking a cigar. <laughs> Santa Claus. Please call me Chris or Sir. This is my roommate Kong. Can he fetch you a drink? He says. Awesome Santa Claus. Crusher. Chris Crusher Kringle. Your beard, Lord Ball, pucker up. It's payback time for a miserable childhood. Well, now, this hardly seems fair. It is if you're standing in my shoes. Ciao, whiskers. Okay, if gunning down an unarmed mythic symbol is the only way you know go ahead shoot don't make me laugh man this is just a fast track to the only possible outcome Lobo says so you say sounds an excuse to me of course if your little liver afraid of poor old coot could take you in a fair fight Bad move, Clyde. Now your death will take ten times as long. The dog is pissed. Why in here? Room to maneuver, boy. I like a little space. Why in here? Room to maneuver, boy. I like a little space, Santa says. 
you did say I could choose weapons. Whatever you want, just snap it up, will ya? Lobo says. <laughs> this is Elphomatic cloning unit. Or are you hoping I'll die of old age, Lobo says. I'm not exactly new to this, you know. I used to be quite a cuppa cut up in my youth ho 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 cut up get it pulls out his knives hardy friggin horror now you about done yakin lobo says throws lobo a knife he's gonna use one of them right Shivza suits me. Any particular reason? Lobo says. Oh, I find a good sharp blade works best on the particularly naughty. Blow it out your butt, Lobo says. Sure now, you about done yakin. Crusher says. Famous last words, fat soul. Slash. Slashes out. Oh, look at that. Crush right in the head. Slice. Ouch. Not bad, Sonny. But you're playing in the big time now. Santa says. Come on, old man, make it easy on yourself. You'll never take me. Is that a fact now? Boom! Crack. Look at Santa's eyeball just pops off. That is it. Die, you naughty bastard. Bam! Thud. Punches Lobo in the face. That's gonna piss him off. You wish sucker. Poof. Rip. Look. Maybe we can make a deal. Santa says. Sounds cool. But the bunny's already paid you. Paid for you. Lobo says. Look at the blood on his face. Ah, the main man always delivers. But hack oh cuts off his head. Look at that. That is gone. Free of the tyrant at last, the penguins yell out. Oh look at the gorilla is sad. Three cheers for the main man. Yeah. Seasons, greetings, fats. Nice splash bits on the gate on the page. Split, split. 
heart still pumping blood gushing Jerk. The idiot might have stood a chance against anyone else, but they don't call me Mr. Machete for nothing. Can't blame the old goat for trying, though. This is some sweet deal he's laid down here. You only got to work one day a year, and all the elves you can handle. If you're into little guys with pointed ears, that is. Oh, look at that. He's got a BDSM closet. Look at that. Hardcore, hardcore. Oh my god. He sure spent out on this place. Everything state of the art. Might be something lying around I can put to use, he says. Ha, huh. I love a job with friggin' benefits. Look at this. Ooh, doggy. I am impressed. What has he got here? Look at all this. Jeez. Will you look at that data bank? Must have every name in the world on here. Naughty, naughty, nice. Look at him, he's got all the charts. Ook, ook, yuck, yuck. We should go back to the South Pole. Our families will be worried. Nah, I want to stay and join his gang. <laughs> he's got a Lobo fan club. Penguin Lobo fan club, look at that. Lots of global fan clubs. What a waste of all this great crap. Unless he was blackmailing him, of course. Nice, huh? Future prey is what they are. Victims in the making, Lobo says. And these guys could be definite trouble, a potential source of competition, the bastages. Okay, main man, how can we put this little windfall to good frickin' use? He's thinking. Right. <laughs> splash page. He's making bombs. Let's read the text. You don't spend your life with, earn your very living from, weapons of math, mass death and destruction without picking up a little technical know-how along the way. Screw those warheads on good and tight now. Kong and make sure the little boogers boogers is armed. He 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 Lobo says. Look at Kong, the gorilla just working it. Right. Nice splash page. Nice job, if I say so myself. One frag of a lot of brats are for one frag of a heavy duty Xmas. The penguins in the background. Look at that. Ain't, the, ain't this the coolest fun? Yeah, I feel like a really bad dude. Frag. <laughs>
now to arrange the transports. Sometimes the old ways is the best ways, like something wrong with a little tradition. Look at the bunny, the little bunny running, the dogs chasing the bunny. Oh, oh boys, Uncle Lobo's got a little job for you. stable. Let's take a look. Rudolph the mutant reindeer was very aptly named. He had a friggin monstrous schnuzzle of which he was ashamed. Then one starry Xmas night Lobo, Lobo came to say, Rudolph lead my sleigh tonight. Or I'll blow you away. No, never. You're naughty, much too naughty, Rudolph says, I'm assuming. Blam, thud, killed <laughs> Rudolph. Your choice, guy. <sighs> there goes Rudolph. That's the sack of bombs that he's got, right? On the sled. He's got a huge sack of bombs on the sled. Ho, ho, fragging ho. All right, you wa walking entrees. Pucker up. we got work to do. Wee, oui, wee. Oui. Are you tired of living? Shh. The bunny's keeping an, keeping an eye on Lobo. What is he doing? Look at this little guy at the bottom. Looks mean. Let's get the show on the road. Yeehaw! Blam! Fires his gun. Oh, fragger. Oh, bastage. Oh, scuzzball. Whoosh. I'll wish off. His name in the reindeer. Let's see if if I input this baby right. Bingo. It's got the database and the, some kind of GPS system. This is going to be the best Xmas ever. Look at the splash page. They're just dropping bombs on everybody. <laughs> on nice and the naughty. So it came to pass that on the midnight clear, a new star rose in the east. And the naughty learned just what happens to those who threaten the main man's peace of mind. And the nice, well, let's just say they learned young what it means to be innocent victims. Smoking a cigar, feet up. Let him rip, Kong. Give those suckers the old seasonal boom. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody's been blown up. Nice and naughty. Nice and naughty. Here comes the husband and wife again. Incredible, a literary masterpiece, he says. And better, it might just work, she says. <laughs> might, hell, there's no way it can't work. It's a snacking, snacking godsend. 
the kids will be eaten out of our hands. Saved, we're saved. Oh joy, oh joy, we're saved. Come on, read the last page. Maybe it gets even better. Nice. Right, here we go. Let's see now. Reading the last page. This book, good for one read only. Gotcha, suckers. Puff. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> Her hair is popping all those uh, curlers, right? Oh no. The book self destructs. Zing. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't fret, honey. I'll say goodnight to the kids for you. Going up the stairs, taking care of the kids. Bam, 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 bam. Silent night, holy night, all is calm. Bam, bam. They have ten kids. Merry Xmas, Xmas, comrades. Ho, ho, friggin' ho. Even the dog's giving us the finger. <laughs> right? Lobo paramilitary Christmas special. Batman crossover. Boy Scouts. Nice read, nice read. After reading this, I hadn't read this for a long time. It's a little different, the fan based film, right? The fan based film added a couple of different elements at the end that uh, this one had had different. The book had different, the comic had different, right? But fantastic. The fan based film was fantastic to watch as well. So if you enjoyed this, for sure take a look at the fan based film. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope um, you have a great holiday, right? After this amazing. Lobo paramilitary Christmas special read. Right. Fantastic. Chris Crusher Kringle taken out by the main man. That's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next video.